Dear students, you are welcome to physics class. I hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. This is Shofiul Islam, lecturer, Department of Physics, Milestone College. Today, I am going to discuss with you MCQ part from the chapter Work, Power and Energy. So, let us start our class. Dear students, look at the board. The MCQ question are mentioned in the board. First question, which one is the unit of potential energy? We know the unit of energy is joule. Even unit of potential energy, unit of kinetic energy, even unit of work is joule. So here our result is joule. Second question. Which is the dimension of power? We know from the definition of power, P is equal to W by T. The rate of change of work with time is called power. We can write W is equal to F dot S divided by T. Here F is the applied force, S is the displacement. We can write F is equal to MA S divided by T. Here M is the mass, A is the acceleration and S is the displacement, T is the time. So we can write the dimension of mass is equal to capital M. Dimension of acceleration is LT inverse 2 and dimension of displacement is L. Also, dimension of time is capital T. So, we can write M L square T inverse 3. So, this is the dimension of power. So, dear students, our result is dimension of power M L square T inverse 3. This is our result. Next one. Who is one of the following is the product of force and velocity? Dear students, we can write the product of force and velocity is equal to T. From the definition of velocity, the rate of change of displacement with time is called velocity. So we can write V is equal to S by T. Now we can write F is equal to F dot S equal to work W and T. We can write F dot S equal to W from the definition of work. Now, from the definition of power, we can write W by T is equal to P. So, our question, the product of force and velocity is equal to power. This is our result. Next on, 10 horsepower is equal to who, how much what? Dear students, we know 1 horsepower is equal to 1 horsepower is equal to 7, 4, 6 watt. So, 10 horsepower is equal to 10 horsepower is equal to 10 into 7, 4, 6 watt. Which will be 7460 watt. Dear students, so our result will be 7460 watt. This is our result. Next one, a person of mass 50 kg can stir up 20 steps of 25 centimeter. How much work he will do? So, this is uh, board question, Dhaka board 15. So we can write work done, work done, W is equal to MGAs. So here M is equal to 50, Z is equal to 9.8, and A is equal to height. But here A is, we can write 25. Uh, 25 steps and 20 stairs. So, 
sorry, 25 steps and each step is 25 centimeters. So it will be 500 centimeter. Uh, it will be five meter. So is will be five meter. So after calculate, we can write two, four, five zul. So our data will be two, four, five zul. This is our answer. Dear students, next next question. The brake was applied to stop a moving car having speed of 60 km per hour. What will be the kinetic energy of the car in joule if the mass of the car is 5000 kg? Here we have to find out the kinetic energy. First of all, the students, we have to determine the velocity of car v is equal to 6 60 km per hour so we have to we have to convert it meter per second 60 into 1000 meter and kilo hour will be 3600 meter per second so it will be it will be 100 divided by 6 meter per second so now kinetic energy kinetic energy k is equal to half m v square the students here mass of the car is 5000 and v is 100 by 6 meter per second is meter per second so after calculate 6.94 into 10 to the power 4 joule this is our result so we can write 6.94 into 10 to the power 4 joule this is our result next question mass of a man is 70 kg when this man claimed to the hill of 200 meter then how much work he will do he has given also 9 plus z the acceleration due to gravity g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square this is Joshua board question 200 sorry 2020 so dear students from the given information uh, we can write work done w g is equal to m g a share m is equal to 70 z is equal to 99.8 and s is equal to 200 meter so what will be our result uh, it will be 1.37 2 into 10 to the power 5 zul so we can write our result 1 3 1.372 into 10 to the power 5 joule. This is our result. So next on an object of mass 500 kg is moving at velocity 20 meter per second. If the object creates 0 0.5 meter per second square deceleration for 10 seconds, its kinetic energy will here our question is what will be our uh, its kinetic energy so dear students uh, from the information it is clear that we have to calculate uh, velocity uh, v is equal to u minus a t because here u is 20 meter per second a is deceleration 0 0.5 uh, and t is 10 seconds so uh, it will be 20 minus 5 is equal to 15 meter per second. So now kinetic energy will be we can write Ke is equal to half m b square. So here mass of the object is 500 kg. So 500 into velocity is equal to 15 
So after I calculate, we get here. Uh, after I calculate, the kinetic energy will be five point six to 5 into 10 to the power 4 joule. There is students, so we can write kinetic energy uh, 5.6 to 5 into 10 to the power 4 joule. This is our result. I hope you have understood. Another question. A machine is able to lift 200 kg of object vertically up to a height of 30 meter above the ground in 50 seconds what is the power of the machine okay from the given information we have to calculate power okay here also given acceleration due to g due to gravity g is equal to 10 meter per second square so from the definition of power P is equal to mgh by t. Here, mass m is equal to 200 kg and g is equal to 10 meter per second square. h is equal to 30 meter and t is the 50 second. So, after calculation, we can write 1, 2, 0, 0, watt. So it will be 1.2 kilowatt. So our result will be our result will be 1.2 kilowatt. Okay. Next question. I still observe the figure below and answer the question number 10 and 11. There are students here given a figure. Okay. A object mass m if we consider the mass of the object m and its height is h1 plus h2 okay because uh, the a point b its height is h1 okay and a b is, is height is h2 so total height is h1 plus h2 so first question question 10 what is the potential energy of the body at point B? So, we know from the definition of potential energy, Ep is equal to, Ep is equal to mgh, okay. Here, uh, m is the uh, mass of the object and g is the acceleration due to gravity and h is the height. But here, height at point B, height is H1. So we can write Ep is equal to mg H1. This is our result. So our result will be mg H1. Okay. Next question. Question 11. Why falling freely at which height the kinetic energy of the both object will be three times of the potential energy? Okay. Uh, from the given information, the students, uh, uh, if we, we consider the potential energy at height x, at height x, the potential, the kinetic energy uh, will be the three times of the potential energy. Okay, so let us consider at a height at a height x at a height x the kinetic energy of the object will be three times of the potential energy okay at a height x so at a height x the potential energy will be mgx okay and at a height x like uh, a x at height x this is height x okay so at height x the kinetic energy will be ek will be half m d square okay half m d square is equal to u square plus 2g h prime h prime is here distance okay like 
here h prime is from the initial to the a point b okay h prime so we can write half m u is equal to have zero to g h prime can be written h prime can be written h1 plus h2 minus s dear students total height is h1 plus h2 and this height is x so this will be is one plus h2 minus x okay this so we can write here mg 2 and 2 cancel so mg is one plus h2 minus x this is kinetic energy so uh, the given condition is kinetic energy of the object will be three times of the potential energy so ek equal to 3 into EP. Okay? So EK will be MG H1 plus H2 minus X and EP is equal to MGX. So MG, MG cancel. So you can write H1 plus H2 minus X is equal to 3X. So H1 plus H2 is equal to 3X plus X. Okay? Equal to 4X. The value of x uh, equal to h1 plus h2 divided by 4. Dear students, next question, question number 12. A body of mass 7 kg, it is lifted at a height of 2000 centimeters from the ground. What will be the potential energy? Here given also g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square this is Joshua board question 2016 so we know potential energy if is equal to mgh okay here m is equal to 7 g is equal to 9.8 and h is equal to 20 meter because we know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so 2000 centimeter is equal to 20 meter so after calculate, uh, we get 1372 Joule. Okay, this is our result. 137 Joule. 1372 Joule. Okay. Next, uh, here given a stem from the figure below, answer the question number 13 and 14. Uh, here given a picture. For by using this picture, we have to solve the question number 13 and 14. So, uh, from the figure, it is clear that a body of mass M, okay, its height is S. When uh, it, its position is R, first question, what will be the kinetic energy of the freely falling body at point Q if it is falls from R, okay? So, kinetic energy. Uh, we know kinetic energy, we know kinetic energy EK is equal to half m v square, okay? Half m v square is equal to a square plus 2g h prime. The students, here h prime can be written here uh, when at point Q, so its uh, distance will be total h minus x so h prime will be h minus x okay so two to cancel mg h minus x so our result is uh, mg h minus x i hope you have understood okay dear students next question question 14 in case of a free falling body from point r okay the body will gain velocity obviously the kinetic energy will be transformed into potential energy no this is wrong answer the potential energy will be transformed kinetic energy okay next velocity will increase as distance increase obviously for falling body uh, velocity uh, will increase with time okay that means velocity will increase with distance also so 
which one is correct so our correct answer is 1 and 3 so our right answer will be b 1 and 3 last one question 15 an electric motor lifts a body of mass 2 kg by 5 meter and consumed 107 joule of energy what amount of energy is wasted by the motor okay this is our question so we know input energy equal to output energy plus wasted energy okay we can say wasted energy wasted energy so we can write wasted energy is equal to input energy minus output energy here given input energy any input energy is 107 joule and output energy is equal to work done so work done we can write mgs so 107 minus 2 9.8 mass is 2 uh, acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 and height is 5 meter so after calculate we get 9 joule okay so dear students our result will be wasted wasted energy is 9 joule okay i hope you have understood clearly okay dear students the lecture will be very much helpful for you so i like to suggest you follow the lecture attentively and get all question into your mind note that this question is very very important for any kind of exam no more today's thank you all stay home stay safe allah hafiz